Okay, everybody. Yep, let's go blurry. There we go, I'm back. Okay, so today we are making sock trolls. No, they're not trolls. I don't edit. These are gnomes, not trolls. So these guys are just waiting on their beards, which just came in the mail. So all you're gonna need, it's really simple. I bought on Amazon a 10 pound bag of basmati rice right here for a couple dollars. And so far I've done one, two, three, four gnomes and you need a pack of white tube socks. Um, you can get these at the Dollar Tree. I ordered mine from Amazon because I wanted a bunch. You also need fuzzy socks. I got these from Amazon. You can also get them from the Dollar Tree for a dollar a pair. But when I bought them in the big pack, it, they worked out to be like 75 cents a pair. A bag of clear rubber bands, a hot glue gun, some glue sticks. Let me plug in my glue gun. You will need, if you want, some essential oils. I have lavender which I also got from Amazon. I've never seen them at the Dollar Tree. And eucalyptus, which is my favorite scent. You need a cutter like this to cut the beard, because you don't want to cut the fur in the front. You just want to cut the fabric in the back. A pair of scissors and some thyme. And this is so, oh, two cups. One to fill, one to hold the sock. You'll see in a sec. So, we will start with one sock. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut it straight through the heel all the way across. And you're going to use the bottom portion and save the top for the next one. Waste not, want not. I don't waste a thing. Okay, here we go. Set this aside. Take the bottom part of the sock, stick it in the mug and fold the edges over so you can pour your rice in. Here's my rice bag down here because it's too heavy to sit on the table. And I'm just using my juice glass. Actually, it's a crown royal glass, but whatever. So I think each one takes about five or six of these, but we'll count this time because I haven't really been counting. So here's one. Okay. And you have to kind of pounce it to push the rice to the bottom because it just likes to stay fluffy and at the top. And I just spilled rice. <laughs> pounce, pounce, pounce. You want it to bounce on the mug in the bottom to make more room. Pretty soon I'll take it out of the mug and I'll just hold it open with my fingers, but I'll show you. So that's one cup. Okay, move the mug to the side. I'm just smashing it down so it gets flat like a pancake. I'm gonna get a second scoop. Easiest way I've found is to take the top of the sock, stretch it over the top, and then carefully pour the rice in like this. My sock is coming off the cup. Pounce, pounce, pounce. This will make a gigantic mess if you let it spill out. So you have to be super careful. I've already done this four times, <laughs> nowhere near being a master, but I kind of have figured it out a little bit. Here's cup number three. Penelope's laying by my side. I've been gone all morning at doctor's appointments, but I'm home now. She got fed lunch. She went outside, went potty, took a walk to the mailbox. We beat the mailman or mail lady. We have a mail lady. Okay. So what was that? Were we on number three? I can't remember. Okay, 
Okay, this is number four. And you want to hold the sock onto the top of the glass and slowly pour it in. Bounce, bounce, bounce. I think maybe a little, like a half a cup. So four and a half of these Crown Royal size juice glasses. So I'm just gonna hold the sock open and pour some in. Okay, so it takes exactly five. I don't know how many ounces this is. Six ounce glass? So, like 30 ounces of rice, I guess. I'm guessing, guessing. Okay, so we are going to take one of these clear little hair bands. And tie it around the top. To keep the rice inside. This is just the body. We haven't put the clothes on yet. And we still have to make the nose. So how I like to do it is once I get to the end without the rubber band breaking, I like to fold the top part over to help it seal. And then I will put hot glue under this little flap and hold it down, hoping the rubber band doesn't break. Yesterday I put hot glue on the rubber band and it melted the rubber band. I almost had a catastrophe. And this rubber band just broke. So we are going to start over and I'm just going to rubber band around this whole thing, trying to keep the other rubber band in place as much as possible. Mistakes and errors occur. That's part of crafting. Okay, stay. So, you wanna shape it. Make it how you want it. Some of these are rounder and plumper. Some are smaller like this. The top part will become a little one, which I will make to be the girl gnome. The bigger ones are the boy gnomes. So they have beards and the girl ones will have pigtails, but I have, we aren't there yet. Don't let me get ahead of myself. Okay, so we are going to make a nose. Grab a rubber band. This one is two in one. There we go. I'm gonna grab kind of towards the top because you want the Close, you want the nose towards the top because the hat's gonna come down, there's no eyes, it's so cute. So we go like this, just grab a bunch of rice, take your rubber band, and go around the ball you just grabbed onto, wrap it around about three times. That's sufficient to make a little nose. Isn't that cute? Now I don't have it with me, but when I'm done, I will add a little bit of blush to make their pink nose because you know, gnomes are cold, I guess, whatever. It's winter. So this gnome is going to have a, let's do a purple body. So we'll cut this one at the heel as well. And I'm gonna use the upper part for the body. These ones are harder to cut through because they're thicker. So if you have fabric, Shears, I highly recommend them. Mine are in my craft case and I just don't have them. And nobody's here to help me, so Penelope is licking the floor. And she certainly can't get them for me. So you're just gonna fit the sock onto the body with the opening around the bottom where the gray part of the sock is, the toe part of the sock. This one backwards. I did this one backwards. Okay. Try to. Do you want the clothes to come up right up under the nose? 
and the back part to come up, but the hat is gonna come down and cover, and then we'll put the beard on. And yes, boy gnomes wear purple. Mine do, anyway. So we're gonna hot glue the clothes in place to try to reduce the amount of fuzzies getting everywhere. See, I always hit the glue. I don't know what the problem is. Maybe I'm just going too fast and not paying enough attention. Um, so I was a little sad. I thought I had this whole like original idea and I typed in gnome on YouTube just to see and see there's a lot of videos of people already doing sock gnomes, so I'm not original. I'm not copying, because I was going to do this regardless, but oh well. Maybe I'm doing it a little bit different. I don't know. So, before we do the hat in blue, we are going to cut a beard. And this is my first time cutting a beard because it just came in the mail, like... I don't know how long have we been recording 11 minutes it came in the mail about 15 minutes ago and I'm really excited because I have the same stuff as the skirt on my Christmas tree behind me and my dog loves it so it must be enjoyable if the puppy likes it let's put my glue gun over here for the moment put mr. gnome over here now, here's the big thing that I saw on these videos and my OCD diagnosed, not self-diagnosed, clinically diagnosed OCD was going crazy. When a man's beard grows, it grows down. It doesn't grow to the side. It doesn't grow up. It grows down. So when you cut these triangles that you're gonna curve up around the nose, Make sure the fur is going down. Don't use scissors, because you'll cut the fur and then it'll look silly. It won't be all wispy out to the side. So I have this giant piece of fabric here that I'm a little overwhelmed with at the moment. Let's see if we can find a good corner to start at without knocking over the rice or the glue gun. Okay. This is where this tool comes in handy or an X-Acto knife, which I have on order. It just hasn't shown up yet. Actually, I have two on order. One from Joom from three months ago, and it still isn't here. I don't think it's coming. And one from Wish, which was cheaper than the one at Rite Aid, and it should be here any day, but of course, it's not here when I need it. So... The corner of this one was cut off. I don't know if you can see the fur is like not right here. So I'm gonna have to pick a different corner, a different spot. Okay. And that is Alexa in the background playing country Christmas music. I have no rights to the music. It is our Alexa. Oh! You know what? I forgot to put the essential oils in that one. Okay, so typically what you'll do is you'll put in one and a half cups, put in four or five drops of the essential oil of your choice, and then put the rest in, and then it smells beautiful. I can't believe I forgot that. I don't have a pen, so we're just going to wing it. Okay, so this is coming out here. I'm going to try to make a V just cutting the back not cutting all the way through the front and not too tall pull it apart make sure i have my wispies there we go wispies coming off okay cut straight across There we go. Okay. Well, 
I'm a little bit of a hypocrite because this turned out very crooked and not exactly what I wanted. But I'm trying to pump this out real quick for you guys. So here's the beard. And we're gonna wrap it up around the nose. So let's put this up there. No. And it's gonna go like this. God, that's adorable, you guys. Wait until we get the hat on. I can't wait. Holy cow, this video is almost over. Okay. I'm gonna need another glue gun. I'm sorry, another glue stick. So just glue right along the top. Do not get it on your fingers. Lord have mercy, it is hot. So tuck it under the nose and just push up. There we go. And then if you want to make a little mustache, take a little bit right from the top directly under the nose and just twist it and pull it out to the side and then brush this down. So he has a little bit of a mustache. So he looks like he has a mouth in there somewhere. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, you guys. I don't even have my glasses on and it's adorable. Okay. Oh, I have more fuzz coming off. I have my lunch right here, my protein shake. I need to start working on that. Okay, let's cut the hat out real quick. So the hat is going to be the toe of a different colored sock. I'm gonna try this and see how well this works. Oh, we are so getting rid of these scissors. These scissors are good for nothing except cutting wire, so that's all they're going to be used for. I'm using this Bad Larry from now on. It's Fiskars. If you're curious, I don't know what it's called. It's like a rolling cutter. Fantastic, but make sure you have a mat. Don't cut it on your table or your countertop. you really regret it. So what we're going to do is fold up to give it a little lip or rim around the hat, and then we're going to put it just over the nose and down the back side to cover where the clothing isn't covering and cover part of the beard and we're going to glue it on oh you're so precious okay we're going to glue and this gnome is done you guys if you have any questions leave them in the comments i will Clarify any questions you have, if you have any requests, anything that you would like to see me try to do, um, editing free, if you want to see something hilarious, I guess. Uh, I, as you know, like to do Dollar Tree stuff um, just because it's more affordable. So we're just gluing the hat right now to the back of the clothes. Rolling the lip down because the sock is really rolly. Not really holding. I got to give it a second to cool down. Sorry. Glue this right down around the nose to the top of the beard. You got to push it down. Okay, you guys. This is the cutest thing I've ever done, I swear. Got his little mustache and his beard. There we go. So cute. Okay, I'm going to pump these out, you guys. I have one, two, three, four. I need to put beards on. I just finished another one and I have a ton more socks. These are going on my Etsy, Etsy store, Creations for Your Home or Creations for You. I'll put the link in there when I do my editing for the description, not editing the video. Subscribe, please. And give me a thumbs up if you like this. And I'll see you guys again soon. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas.